Hey Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie with Cricketer.com. This is my website. I recommend you go and check it out. There's lots of good information on there, especially if you're interested in starting your own Cricket business. I also invite all of you guys to come over to my Facebook group. It's called Cricketer Inspiration for Beginners and Pros. It's one of the biggest Cricket groups on Facebook with over 86,000 members, and I would love if you guys came and joined my little Cricket community. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make personalized Father's Day levels. This is what one of them looks like. It says Dad Level Unlocked. I went with this design because my husband is obsessed with Star Wars and this is for him. He also loves video games so I'm doing like a double play on the level. Dad Level Unlocked. This is the second level that I bought. This one is from Walmart. And the reason that I bought this one is because all of the Dollar Trees in my area are sold out of this one. I don't know if it's because of coronavirus or because all the other cricketers got to them first, but I can't find them in any of my local Dollar Trees. I did see them on their website though, so if you hurry up and order, you might be able to get them in time. Or maybe you'll luck out and they'll have them in your local Dollar Tree. And there's really not many on Etsy either. So if you can get your hands on these, this might be a great seller. I don't know about you guys, but I love Dollar Tree Cricut projects, especially ones like this that are so cute. The Dollar Tree level is obviously smaller than the Walmart one. Um, this one measures 16 inches long. This one measures 24 inches long. The Dollar Tree one was obviously $1. And then the green one was between $5 and $6. I can't remember the exact price. I want to say it was like $5.98. But I'm going to go to Walmart's website and try to find the link for you guys. These are a really adorable gift. They're practical. My husband is always using the level. You can make this project with any Cricut machine, whether you have the Explore Air 2, the Cricut Maker, or the Cricut Joy. It's just Oracle 651 vinyl transferred onto a level. Super simple, super cute, very unique. If you go with the bigger green one, there's tons of room to personalize like I did here. Father's Day is coming up really soon. Alexa, how many days until Father's Day? Father's Day will start in 19 days. So we have to get our butts in gear. If you're gonna be selling projects for Father's Day, you need to start it like now. And if you haven't yet, don't worry too much because most people are last minute shoppers. If you're looking for more Father's Day Cricut inspiration, I recommend you check out my YouTube channel. I have a couple of really cute projects on there. Um, one idea is Father's Day pocket pillows where you personalize the pillow with the name and then you put remote here, snacks here. Another fun video on my channel is where we make Father's Day hammers. This is an example of one of the hammers. Now this one in my hand is actually laser engraved. Um, my husband recently bought a laser engraver and I am super excited about it. I love it. We've made some really cool projects with it already. I hope to branch out on my channel and do some laser engraving projects too. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you might be interested in seeing. Our laser engraver also has a 3D printer, which is super cool. One really fun project that we did was we 3D printed some Hulk chicken arms because we have chickens and we put it on one of our chickens and it was literally so funny. I hope that someday Cricut starts incorporating laser engravers into their machines because that would be super awesome. So this one was made with my laser engraver, but I also have a whole Cricut video about how to make these hammers using Oracle 651 vinyl. It's another really cute project in cell green. I'm also going to give you guys a little sneak peek at my next video coming up later in this week, and it's going to be about these really cute tape measures. I have all different sayings on them. So this one says, Dad, you are loved beyond measure. No one measures up to you, Papa. I just made almost 20 of these yesterday. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. During every one of my videos, I'm also doing a giveaway to anyone who comments below. 
If you comment on one of my videos within the first 24 hours, I put your name into a random name picker and then the person who wins gets a free Cricut blank from me. This is just as a little thank you for supporting my channel, liking, commenting, subscribing. All of that helps my small business grow. It helps the YouTube algorithm be happy and promote my videos to more and more people like you. So let's move on over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you guys how to make this fun Father's Day Cricut project. All right, guys, I'm going to make this short and sweet because this is just simple text in design space. I already wrote out a whole bunch of different sayings for you. So we have dad, we love you beyond measure. No one measures up to you, dad. We love you beyond measure, papa. No other dads measure up to you. There's a whole bunch of them here. Um, some of these down here were sayings that I used on my hammers. So the sayings work for multiple different projects. You can choose one out of this list or you can make one up yourself. I also wrote the sayings in different fonts so you can get an idea of what font you might like. And I put the font names over here on the right. I'll leave links to all of the different fonts in my video description so you can go down and look for them below. All you have to do to write your own is select text, start typing whatever you want. So dad level unlocked, for example way up here hiding. And then you just use the double arrows to resize your image. Based on our measurements, we want it to be about 0.75 inches tall. So we can shrink it down. You can also use this button up here. So if you click the unlock button, we want it to be right about where it is. So 0.75. Now for the length, we want it to be much longer because the level that we're using, the smaller yellow one from the Dollar Tree, is 16 inches long. So we can zoom in to see better. Right now we're at about 8 by 0.75. I'm going to change the font to Death Star because my husband loves Star Wars and this one is for him. Point seven five. And I don't care for how close the letters are spaced to each other, so we can go up here to the letter space and we can just push this button a few times to spread it out. Um, I also don't like how this D is so far away from the A, so if we want to fix that, we can click ungroup and then select the D and just move it on over. But make sure you weld your word back together before you cut it. One thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld my words together separately. And the reason that I am doing this is because if I leave this all welded as one big piece, it's gonna be 14.3 inches long. I'm gonna have to use a big 24 inch mat and I don't wanna waste a lot of vinyl. So by welding each word individually, I can keep my vinyl piece is a lot smaller. This is just gonna save me vinyl in the long run. Next, I'm gonna come up with a saying for the large green level. I like the green level better for a lot of reasons. Um, it's much bigger than the yellow one from the Dollar Tree. The yellow one was 16 inches. The green one is 24 inches. So it gives you a lot more space to put sayings. This is great if you wanna personalize it and add some names or a longer, more custom message. So I'm going to type, Dad, no one will ever measure up to you. Happy Father's Day. Love, Sierra and Barrett. I'm going to do this one in a different font. So my other favorite font for the kids. And then I'm gonna shrink it down to about 23 inches 
wide. You have to unlock this button or it will leave it to scale. So right now this is actually perfect. So it's 23 inches long by 0.732. Um, the width of the ruler is one inch, so we want it to be less than one inch. Just like with the Dollar Tree level, I'm going to ungroup it and then regroup it in a few sections. Now instead of needing a 23 inch piece of vinyl, I can just have a bunch of smaller five inch long pieces of vinyl or six inch. Now before I print it, I'm just gonna do save as. This saves it as a new project. And then I'm going to delete all of this other stuff because I don't need to cut any of that. Then I'm just left with my two designs right here. So then we can go over to make it. And see now I only have three and a half by 12 inches of vinyl that I need instead of a huge 23 inch long sheet of vinyl that I have to chop up. We do not need to mirror our image because we're using Oracle 651 vinyl, not a heat transfer vinyl. And then we go over to continue. Make sure your machine is hooked up. Next you need to select your material. I'm using vinyl. And then you can go over to your machine, push the blinking double arrows and begin cutting.
wrapped up this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our new great videos. We'll see you guys later in the week when we make all of these tape measures. It's going to be a super cute, fun project. Thank you for watching.